Have you been born again? Many people, when I ask that question, have a lot of different things in mind. Some people will think, well, I got baptized when I was 19 years old. I went through the catechism classes and I became a member of the church. And I kind of have to step back and ask, do you know at all what this term means? And I ask again, have you been born again? I'm not asking, have you gotten water put on your head? I'm not asking, have you repented of all of your sins? And I'm not asking, have you gone to the church or to the priest or to the pope or to the pastor or to the leader and confessed all of your sins? I'm asking, have you been born again? Like two times, born a second time. Some would say, well, I was raised in a good Christian home and, and I've always tried to be a good person. You know, Nicodemus was a good person. By every standard of the Jewish law, he lived according to it. He was a man who gave himself fully to studying the Bible. All he knew was keeping laws and commands and ordinances. He lived his whole life based on the idea that God is good and that I should serve him. Are you a good person like that? Or like, are you as good as Nicodemus was? Where you cross all the T's, dot all the I's, and give your whole life to studying God's book and then obeying it in every possible way? Are, are you that good? Because Nicodemus was that good. And he came to Jesus by night and he says, We know you're a teacher come from God. No man can do these miracles. And Jesus does not flinch. He's not in the least bit impressed with the compliments. He's not flustered. He just turns back on Nicodemus and he says, You must be born again. You know, Jesus didn't come to, or Nicodemus didn't come to Jesus and ask him for things that he wanted. He just said, we know you're a teacher. And Jesus says, you're missing something. You lack something. Have you been born again? So, well, I've always been a good person. I don't lie. I don't steal. I don't cheat. What is the prerequisite to seeing the kingdom of God? Jesus says, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So I'm not asking, have you been baptized? I'm not asking, do you go to church? I'm not asking, have you repented? I'm not asking, have you been a good person? Were you raised good? None of those questions. Do you steal? Do you cheat? Do you lie? Nothing like that. I'm not asking any of those questions. Well, I dedicated my life to God. Again, I'm not asking, is your life committed to God? Nicodemus' life was committed to God. Well, I, I go to church all the time. I attend prayer meetings and Bible studies, and I'm serious about my Christian life. Nicodemus, again, was a full-time God person. He dedicated himself completely. Do you spend almost all your waking hours thinking about God in pursuit of truth, studying his book? It is not enough to be a dedicated person. It is not enough to be sincere. It is not enough to walk in righteousness. You must be born again. There is something physically wrong with you. When you have failed, when you stand before God and you have sinned, there is nothing that can make up for the past wrongs that you have done. Jesus' response is, you must be born again. Religious people, Christian people will say, well, I responded to an altar call, or I asked Jesus to come into my heart, or I confessed all my sins, or I asked God to fill me with his Holy Spirit. I, 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 I. I'm not asking what have you done? I'm asking, have you been born a second time? Have you been born again? There is no other way to enter into God's kingdom, to see God's kingdom, than to be born again. You know, the Bible says in, in Romans chapter 10 that the Jews were very zealous of God. I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, Paul says, but it's not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for every one that believeth. So all these other things that you could do, keeping commands, going to church, getting baptized, on and on and on, the list goes, they do not make you a Christian. Christ is the end of all of those things for righteousness. How do you become righteous? How do you become born again? How do you become saved? Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. Nicodemus says, well, can I enter the second time into my mother's womb and be born? And Jesus says, you have to be born of water, natural birth, physical birth, not water baptism. Physical birth is being born of water and you must be born of the spirit. Have you had that second birth? 
Have you been born a second time? Have you been begotten again by the Spirit of God? Well, I've turned over a new leaf. I'm starting over. I'm, I'm stopped sinning and now I'm trying to do better. I, I've committed my life to God. I've been a church member for years. I don't care. Jesus doesn't care. Have you been born again? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, says Peter, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again, born us again unto a lively hope. Some people still, but I try really hard. I'm very serious about my walk with God. You know, Romans chapter 4 says, To him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Here's the way to be a Christian. Verse 5 of Romans chapter 4. But to him that worketh not. How do you become a Christian? Don't work. Am I saying Christians shouldn't work? No, I'm saying to become a Christian. Don't work. Him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. What did Jesus say to Nicodemus? For God so loved the world that whosoever what? Believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. The same way that that serpent was lifted up on the pole and the children of Israel who were bitten by snakes could just look at that pole and be saved, healed instantly, so you can be born again by looking to Jesus. See, there's an old hymn that we sing so many times. It's called, When I Survey the Rugged Cross. When I Survey the Wondrous Cross on which the Prince of Glory died. My richest gain I count but loss and pour contempt on all my pride. How do we get saved? By surveying the cross, by looking at what Jesus did on the cross, by seeing him high and lifted up and crucified for our sins. By that, we are healed. We are born again. And it is by faith. We believe on him who God sent. We work not, but believe on him that justifieth the ungodly. And then you will be counted righteous. The Bible actually goes so far in Romans chapter 4 to say that blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. When you get born again, God no longer counts your sins to you. Not just your past sins, but he no longer, he, he's covered your past sins, but he no longer counts any sins to you. That's the blessed state of the man who's been born again. You were born of Adam, born to your father, born as a Blatz or as a Weeb or as a Peters or as a Jansen, whatever last name you might have, you were born of that, but now you're born again according to Jesus. There's one man that has been raised from the dead. He is the first fruits. That's Jesus. And he, we are now begotten again into that lineage. We were born in Adam, born by Adam through Adam and Eve and their descendants through your parents. We are born into that system, into that humanity. And now we are born again into Christ. Romans chapter 6, we were crucified with him, we were buried with him, and now we're raised together with him so that we are born together with Jesus. We are born again. Verily I say unto you, Pete Jesus, John chapter 5, 24, he that heareth my words, believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. For John three seventeen. for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. So again, my question is, have you been born again? Not have you gotten religious, have you been born again?